I'm in for I'm filming on my daughter's toy box. So I've got like Elsa and Nick Nick Barbies. Oh, do you remember these? I scored these from uh whoops, Elsa's hiding in there. Hey. <laughs> scored these from my mom actually. Okay. Anyways, so today I wanted to film and just tell you whoops about um I wanted to tell you about my uh, a day that I had last week and hopefully it will encourage some of you my husband and I um we work really hard to live frugally and um so that I can stay at home with the kids we don't make a ton of money we make enough, but we don't make a ton of money. And so we work really hard to live really frugally. Well, recently they changed their pay schedule. Instead of getting paid twice a month, we get paid every other Friday, which is fine. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, except that it adds two more paychecks to the year. There's an extra Friday in April and I think September. Um, but those two extra checks are taken away from the rest of the other paychecks. Uh oh, Everett's having trouble. What do you think? Uh. Yeah. You sure are handsome. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Yeah? You wanna play with the toy? Gonna play with a Barbie, a Nick Nick Barbie. Oh, what was that? Oh, <laughs> we have this old antique door, and it's like really old. And when you close it, sometimes it's really hard to close, and so it just like <laughs> popped open. <laughs> Scared me. Okay, anyways, <laughs> gravy, good gravy. What's wrong? We had gotten really excited that we were gonna really, really work hard to pay off some of the debt that we have. I was just having a really, really, really hard day. I was really stressed out. I was really like, um, just emotionally just drained. I was feeling really, really defeated and we were having a lot of trouble with money that particular day. We were trying to make things work and make ends meet and I was really discouraged. The Lord was was there for me when I needed him. And of course he's always there when you need him. But on that day, it was such a tender mercy that I could see his hand working in our life. And I text Chris, my husband, he was at work. And I said, I wish you could come home today and help me. And um, then I had a couple errands to run. I had an appointment to go to, which I didn't think I could make it through the appointment. But and I was okay. And then... Um, Chris called me and he's like, hey, actually, I, I can actually come home. And um, he was like, I just, um, he just really felt like when he got that message from me, he just really felt like he should um, come home. And I know that that was the Lord working in our life because he's, um, Work is very important to him. He's got a very, very strong work ethic, and that has been such a huge blessing to me. He would never, like, ask off, but he just felt like he should ask to go home early. And, um, and so he was able to come home early, and he came and he came and got the other two kids, and I took Everett to somewhere else I had to go, and it worked out that we had just exactly enough money that of what we needed for that day and and after that <clears throat> i was really nervous because i had to take everett here i had to take him to the <clears throat> to a lab to get blood drawn um we've been having trouble with him in eating solids sometimes he vomits them back up after a little while and then it's it seemed like he was getting hives i don't know if it was just eczema now or if it was hives and a rash so we got him tested for allergies. He got a blood test um, for allergies. So I was so nervous because he, he, I mean, they had to like actually draw his blood like in his arm like you would an adult. Like you couldn't just do it like a heel prick or anything. It was like an actual bl blood draw on him. And so <clears throat> I was really nervous. And I went there 
Come here, you're being dumb. You're being dumb now, huh? So I went there and I was so nervous. Hey, huh? I was so scared, wasn't I? But you know what happened? Another tender mercy, mercy of the Lord. What happened? Should you tell him what happened? He didn't cry one bit. He did not cry. He didn't cry. We had to hold him. There was two other ladies that he'd never seen before. We had to hold him. He had to have his arm like, like held down really tight. They had to have a tourniquet on him. She was like searching for his veins. They put the needle in and I looked at him and he was like, no, he did not cry. He like got like kind of whiny for one second because he didn't want to be held in one place. But that was it. He did not cry. Did you? Are you a big boy? Oh, are you a sleepy boy? <laughs> you are? Are you sleepy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, the allergy test came back. The blood test came back and he's free from allergies. So it's good to know. I'm glad that he didn't have... I was afraid that he had something else where he was allergic to like everything. So I'm glad that he's not allergic to any of those things. So we're trying um, little bit by little bit to see what else he can eat. So I'm trying baby food. And I need to remember that since he's breastfeeding, he doesn't need any of the nutrition until closer to when he's one. He'll be eight months old next week. So, But anyways, that was a tender mercy of the Lord also because he didn't get worked up. And it was like a super happy experience because I was so proud of him and the the phlebotomists were like, oh, I can't believe that. They're like, they've never seen that. One had never seen that before. She's like, I've never seen that before. They always cry. So I was super happy. We were super happy, weren't we? Were we super happy? Yes, we were. <laughs> so anyways, I just, I just know that Heavenly Father, of course, cares about us and loves us, but he knows what's going on in our lives and he knows what we need. And, um, and that was a day where I just clearly saw that he was working for me and he was showing me that everything was going to be okay. So if you're struggling, if you're struggling with something, um, Heavenly Father is there for you. He knows what you're going through. Oh, whoa, goodness. He knows what you're going through and he can help you and he will help you. And even if you can't see his influence in your life, he is helping you. He's still there with you. And I'm just so grateful to recognize that. And as you try to recognize it more, you'll see it. And there's a really cool video um, from uh, Henry B. Eyring. And he's a leader in the LDS church. And, and there's a really cool video that I'll post down below. Oh. I'll link it down below. Do we want to say goodbye? Are we done? Are we ready to go to sleep? Oh. You rub those eyes, huh? Rubbing those eyes. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, let's wave to them. Can you wave? Can you wave? Say bye. Bye. You're right. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.